I'm going to try to make this as spoiler free as fucking possible. Okay guys, so last night I saw the new Ghostbusters movie. And I have to say as a fan of the original films, I absolutely hated it. But as someone watching it with no expectations, as a standalone, complete reimagining of what Ghostbusters could be, I didn't think it was so bad. It told a story that kept me watching, even though what I thought was a series of terrible jokes. Um, there was like two times I kind of snickered at the female cast, but it was more Chris Hemsworth who had me cracking up. Just very simple stupidity managed to get me to actually belly laugh. Like I'm watching this guy thinking, you know, Thor, all serious and shit, and the character was just so simple with the delivery of humor and, and stupidity, it made me actually laugh. Moving on to Melissa McCarthy, I find she was, you know, usually hilarious. She was completely the opposite, just unfunny, uh, trying too hard. And while Kate McKinnon I found to be more the comparison to the Egon type, uh, you know, wild-eyed mad scientist, and she played that role excellently. I think she was probably my favorite character because her performance was extremely genuine. Um, Kristen Wiig, her usual self, not much wavering from her normal roles as the quick wit, you know, take me serious, even though she tries to crack jokes which hit, but not enough to get a laugh. Finally, Leslie Jones. I can't tell you how surprised I was at how well she played her role. Unfortunately, her role is the typecast token black chick. And I can't tell you how many times I cringed at the comments and the reactions that she gave in the movie that just reaffirmed that token black chick role. And it makes me feel horrible for her. I know there's a lot of controversy right now. Some of the comments have been made, reviews, and, you know, people, uh, you know, starting shit about her. I don't think she's a huge talent. But all the work that she's done has landed her this gig. And it's typecast as fuck. I know she can't help that. As an actress, she just has to roll with the punches. But seriously, this movie has me battling two sides of the coin. Heads, forgetting all I know about Ghostbusters, the movie wasn't that bad. And Tails, this movie took a shit on everything I know about Ghostbusters, and I feel that Harold Ramis is rolling in his fucking grave, like I said before. My advice, throw everything you know out the window before seeing this movie. Just wait for it to come out on Netflix, Redbox, Hulu, whatever the hell. There's no point to rush out to see this movie unless you honestly have nothing better to do. Like, hand washing your underwear is more entertaining. That's all I got. I'll see you guys next week. And as an address, as an address. <sighs> Who are you going to call?